Welcome to In 5 Minutes. The agenda of this clip is to understand short channel effects. Let's get started. What exactly is a short channel and what are short channel effects in a MOSFET transistor? In order to get started with that, let's understand short channel definition from this pictorial diagram. A MOS device is said to be a short channel device if the length of the channel is of the same order of magnitude as the depletion region thickness of the source and the drain junctions. In very simple language, what it means is my length of the channel is equal to the depletion region thickness of the drain or the source junctions. If you have to understand this in much more simpler definition, then a device is also said to be a short channel device if the effective length of the channel is equal to approximately junction depth. Now let's understand what is the effective length first. L effective is nothing but total channel length minus delta L and delta L is nothing but the reduction in the channel length due to the transistor operating in the saturation region. So in simple words, the definition of a short channel device is nothing but a device is said to be a short channel device if the effective length of the channel L effective is given here is approximately equal to the junction depth. If you see here, this is nothing but my junction depth, the source or the drain region junctions. Now why it is important to study short channel effects is due to short channel effects, lot of operating characteristics of the transistors varies. Let's get started and see the first phenomena what happens due to the short channel device. The first thing which happens is nothing but velocity saturation. Now let's understand this. Technically, there are two electric fields in a MOSFET. One is called electoral, which is given by VDS upon L, where VDS is nothing but drain to source voltage and L is nothing but the length of the channel. And E vertical, which is nothing but VGS by TOX. VGS is nothing but the gate to source voltage and TOX is nothing but the thickness oxide. So there are two electric fields in a MOSFET. Now what we understand is that the drift velocity this we have studied in our past semesters. The drift velocity is given by mobility into the electric field. So the drift velocity of the carriers is a function of mobility and the electric field lateral and vertical both. Let's understand first what happens due to the elateral field on the drift velocity. Now if you see this equation, you would very clearly understand that if my electric field goes on increasing, my drift velocity will also increase. Just keep this in mind and we go ahead. We just said that if the electric field is increasing, my drift velocity has to increase. Now let's understand the effect of electoral on the drift velocity. Electoral, as we discussed, is given by VDS upon L. Now the length of the channel is reduced when we go on increasing our VDS. If you remember, as we keep on increasing our VDS, once the transistor enters into the saturation, the channel length pinches off and after that it keeps on shifting towards the left. So if my VDS is increasing and the channel length is decreasing, my electoral is increasing constantly. So technically by the derivation or by the equation which we just saw, my drift velocity has to keep on increasing if my electoral is increasing. Now what we see on the graph here is, till the time the drift velocity is in the range of E critical, it keeps on increasing linearly. But at a certain point of time, say when it reaches the E critical, which is nothing but 1.5 to 10 raised to 5 volt per centimeter, after this, the drift velocity of my carriers is saturated and it is fixed to 10 raised to 7 centimeter by seconds. Now, why does this happen and what exactly is happening here? Let's understand this in a bit more details. 